Adobe Sign is the preferred e-signature solution for Microsoft customers. In this video, I will walk you through a demo of the integration between Adobe Sign and Microsoft Outlook. I'll be highlighting two key feature sets. First, sending a document for signature and tracking the status of the agreement. I will use the example of a hiring manager sending an offer letter to a prospective hire for signature. Second, fill and sign. I will use the example of an employee being asked to fill and sign an NDA document. Let's start with the Send for Signature and Track Agreement Status functionality. We'll be working with two personas, Conrad Sims, the sender, and Gloria Rios, the signer. Let's start from the perspective of Conrad, the hiring manager who needs to make an offer to Gloria, the prospective hire. Let's say that Conrad receives a drafted offer letter from his HR team in Outlook. Conrad can send the offer letter directly from his inbox by clicking Send for Signature in the Adobe Sign menu under the Home tab. Adobe Sign automatically recognizes that the email includes an attachment. Conrad can choose another attachment or add additional files to the offer packet. Conrad specifies the recipient. Adobe Sign automatically fills in the email address from the Outlook contact database. Once Conrad is ready, he can simply send the offer packet for signature or click on Preview and Send to further customize the offer letter. Clicking Preview and Send gives additional options to Conrad. For example, he can add a text field to the offer letter asking Gloria for the intended joining date or he can specify additional authentication requirements for Gloria. For example, the need for an SMS-based phone authentication. Conrad clicks Send, and the offer packet is out for signature, just like that. Now let's look at the experience that Gloria goes through to review and sign her offer letter. Gloria receives an email from Conrad with a link to review and sign the letter. She clicks on it, which opens the offer letter in her browser. She doesn't need any custom software to open and sign the offer letter and can sign on any device. Adobe Sign guides her through the required fields. In this case, the only required field is the signature line, but you can always require the recipient to fill in additional fields, such as joining date, etc. Gloria clicks on the signature line. The signature screen opens up, where she is given several options to sign the document. She can type using her keyboard. She can draw if she is using a touch device. She can attach an image of her handwritten signature. Or, if she is not on a touch device but wants to draw her signature, she can choose the mobile option to send a link to her mobile device where she can create a signature and then sign the offer letter. In this case, Gloria decides to sign her name by typing her signature. She types her name and clicks Apply. As soon as the document is signed, both parties are notified and can download a copy of the signed offer packet. Now let's look at the notification that Conrad receives. Conrad receives an email notification that Gloria has signed the offer letter. He can click the agreement status to view details of the agreement at any time. This includes when the document is out for signature or after it has been signed. The tab shows the status of the last 10 agreements that Conrad initiated. Conrad can view the top level status. In this case, you can see that the document is signed. Conrad can click on View Agreement to view the signed document. Clicking on Audit Report shows the audit trail, including who signed and when. The audit report makes sure that the e-signature is legally compliant. In addition, the document is encrypted with a digital certificate to make sure that the document is not doctored. Now let's look at the second feature, Fill and Sign. We'll be working with two personas, Sarah Tran, the requester, and Conrad Sims, who is being asked to fill and sign an NDA document. 
Sarah begins this process by emailing the NDA to Conrad. In Outlook, Conrad receives the email asking him to fill out and sign the attached NDA agreement. Conrad clicks the Fill and Sign icon at the top of the page to begin the Fill and Sign experience. He clicks Continue to open the document. He's got a few fields to complete, so he clicks the text icon at the top of the page to begin filling out the form. He types his first name, last name, and adds his phone number and address. When he's done filling out the form, he clicks Sign at the top of the page to add his signature. Finally, Conrad signs the NDA document. He clicks Type to initiate the process and enters his name as requested. When he's happy with the font and appearance, he simply clicks Apply to append his signature to the agreement. When he's accepted the signature, he clicks Done to complete the fill and sign experience. Conrad clicks Send to send an email to Sarah Tran with the signed agreement as an attachment.